So they coming out right now. Go sit your bitch. What you want to get locked up for, stupid? Look at Tyler. Tyler had me in the back seat stand with money on the plate. I said, I said, fan team. I said, you took the fan team on. Who y'all know? I said, Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politician TV. Had to come tap in one time. NBA young boy, man. One of the hottest rappers in the game. Hottest artists in the game. Arrested, but then also bonded out immediately. No time wasted. Then bonded out everybody that was also arrested with him. They were shooting a video in Baton Rouge. Uh, police popped out. You know how it happened, man. When everybody turned up, they know it's some nigga shit going on. They know niggas gonna have the guns in the videos, money, and probably smoking weed and shit because that's what rap video is when you rapping about street shit. Basically, it's props, but sometimes niggas forget to go and actually get the real props, and they just like, hey, nigga, I got this gun right here. I'm gonna get on the video with it, and it looks good on screen, but you gotta know the hip hop police, especially when you were from a small town like Baton Rouge, Louisiana, they is keyed in on every rapper out there, I guarantee you, especially anytime NBA Youngboy being the biggest star that he is, anytime he come back to the town, they probably got a private investigator following that nigga around. They looking at everybody Instagram seeing, oh, where he at, where he at, let's see if we catch him slipping, let's see if we catch him slipping. That's what they do. They hate rappers, man. Understand that. You got some that's cool with rappers and get it, then you got some that ain't. Now, he also he was charged with the guns. His lawyer had spoke out with the news and said, hey, he's not guilty, didn't have any guns or drugs in his possessions when these arrests were made. So we will just got to wait and see to the court date how everything going to play out and how everything go go. Remember, like I always say, in whatever crime it is, you are innocent until proven guilty. Innocent until proven guilty. NBA young boy just got to probably understand, bro. You know, every time they you pop back out in the city, dog, they going to be watching you. They going to be on you. Anything you got going on. But he been popping back to Baton Rouge a lot lately. Shot a few videos out there. They done some features with artists out there. Man, let the man go home and share love to the city, man. Show love to the city, bro. NBA young boy been showing love to the fans, the city, different people. You know, all that shit, bro. Let them do that, man. Let them, let them go back and show that, hey. It's hope. Y'all, I can still come back and show y'all niggas love. Y'all ain't got to hate me or think I turned my back on y'all. We got to celebrate these artists, man. So, like I always say, bro, it's like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Because if you go back home and fuck with the city, either the police going to fuck with you or the niggas is going to try to get at you. But if you say, fuck it, I'm just going to not go back to the city. They ain't going to turn your they back on. They going to be like, oh, man, fuck that nigga. He don't come home. That's why I say it's hard as fuck to be a successful rapper, man. Tap in. Shout out to NBA Youngboy. Keep going up. Shout out to everybody in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the whole state. You know what I'm saying? 1,000, man.